Yo, what's up guys? It's Jeff and today we are talking beta 2 of iOS 14. We'll be going over a release date for beta 2, the upcoming public betas, and what's to come in iOS 14 betas as we see them roll out in the coming weeks here. So there's definitely a lot to go over in today's video and you don't want to miss out on any of it. So stick around for the end of today's video so you don't end up asking me questions in the comment section of stuff we already talked about. It happens every single time. But anyways, with that being said, let's dive in into iOS 14 beta 2. Okay, so first up, let's talk about what needs to be improved from iOS 14 beta 1. Obviously, in my last video, we talked about some of the pros and cons of beta 1, but all of the issues that I highlighted were really, really minor. So far, iOS 14 beta 1 is the best first release beta that I've ever seen. And it looks like Apple has definitely delivered on their promise to clean up the beta process and make it a lot more user friendly. Now, with that said though, there are still some things that could be worked on in iOS 14. Now, number one would be the widget feature. So far, it's proving to be a great feature here in iOS 14, but it does suffer from a lack of updates from the apps that they are attached to. Take for instance, the weather app. If I look at the weather on the widget page, it's almost never the same as when I actually open the app. So it's just not a very reliable source, which is sort of going against the entire point of the whole widget system. The same goes for the Apple News widget and the Stocks widget. They just need more updates to their information more frequently and all should be good for a better user experience. Now, number two for me would be battery life. I'm not going to say it's terrible, but it is noticeably worse off compared to iOS 13.6 betas and even the last iOS 13 official release. Given we are still in betas though, I really don't expect battery life to be all too stable, but I do think it could be slightly better than it is right now. Apple will likely improve battery life by the public beta releases, so stay tuned for more news on that. Next up are some of these smaller features that are sort of hidden within iOS 14 and that Apple never really talked about in their WWDC event. Number one is that back tap feature. Basically, you can set up your phone to perform a specific action when you tap the back of your device twice. Now, this is reserved for newer devices, but even with my iPhone 11 Pro Max, it's sort of finicky. A lot of times when I place my phone down on a table, it will perform the double tap action, and I think that the response in general is way too sensitive with or without my dbrand case on my iPhone. Number two is the sound recognition. Yeah, it's a great feature, but just like that double tap feature, it's just a bit too sensitive and it would be nice to be able to adjust the sensitivity that you want it to have. Also, it's sometimes inaccurate, which I know will only get better with AI integration, but in the meantime, that feature is sort of unreliable until these issues are finally worked out. Okay, so those are just a few issues that could be fixed in beta one. And even though we did take a bit longer to go over those in the full picture, these are just super minor features uh, that need to be fixed compared to other first betas, which were at some points almost unusable completely. But anyway, let's move past that part of today's video and get onto what we should expect in beta two and when we should be seeing it released to developers. So just in case you didn't know how betas with Apple typically work, Apple tends to place major new features and changes within the first uh, three to four releases of their betas. Now, this could always change, but given that's what we've seen in the past, I do expect there to be some new features um, and UI changes coming in beta two. One of those new features I do expect to be added uh, is to the widgets. We did see some from Apple that hasn't been released yet, like the clock widget, so I do expect uh, there to be some expansion on that feature. One widget that I do expect to be worked on would be a health widget. Um, there's already one for the fitness app, but there is no quick way to take a look at the health app, so I do expect there to be some sort of health app widget in the next few betas where we can see some of the data from the health app. Now, next up, I do expect to see some sort of expansion to the Translate app, specifically in the control center for AirPods users. Since AirPods have microphones and they're obviously headphones, it would be perfect to have them listen in on a conversation so you can have a live conversation with someone using your AirPods. Now, this could be coming in the next couple of betas or may come later on the iOS 14 lifecycle, but I definitely think that Apple hasn't stopped with just having the Translate app. They are definitely going to expand on that and make the experience of translation as seamless as possible, maybe through AirPods. 
Now, lastly, the UI will more than likely see some changes in the coming betas. Obviously, this is left up to the development team and what they want to change, but typically in the first beta, we see just half of the UI changes that Apple wants to make in their new iOS version, and we should be seeing many more changes in the coming betas to the UI that will ultimately represent the vision that Apple had for iOS 14 when it's officially released. This might include some additional tweaks to Siri, the call UI, and the home screen, we just don't know anything solid yet, but definitely stay tuned for the next update video and we'll fill you in when we see those changes in iOS 14. Okay, so we've gone over some issues that need to be fixed and some new items that we might see within beta 2. Let's chat about that release date. Obviously, it's been almost two weeks since iOS 14 beta 1 was released, just after the uh, first day of WWDC. And following the traditional schedule of beta releases, we should see the second beta of iOS 14 on July 6, which is this coming Monday. Typically, we see releases at around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, so do stay tuned for more news on that. Following that release, we should be seeing releases every two weeks until we get to around beta three or beta four, and then we'll see releases every single week as Apple will be shoring up some of the finer details of their new features and UI. So I hope that gives you a little bit more insight into what we expect with iOS 14 beta two and when you should be seeing it. Of course, if you have any questions about what we talked about in today's video, or if you have any questions in general, feel free to leave them down in the uh, comment section down below. So thank you all for joining us in today's video. And if you liked it, definitely leave a like on the video, get subscribed and hit that notification bell button to get updates on content like iOS 14 beta two coming this Monday. Anyways, that's it for me today. I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day and hopefully we'll catch you in some upcoming content.